Just saying. I have been trying to speak with different Christians. Yep. But they seem to run away. Okay. They don't seem to have confidence. Okay. In standing still and trying to speak with me, debate with me. Now, I have a problem. My problem is this. That as Muslims, we cannot believe what you Christians preach to the people. When you preach to the people that Jesus was God. Yeah. We cannot believe yeah. that. We cannot believe that. Why? Okay. Thank you. Why? Because... Does our Bible say Jesus is God? You said why, so let me answer well, I'm just wondering where you're from. Why? In the Old Testament, in every Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18, in every Christian Bible it says, I will raise them up a prophet. What does it say in the Bible? It says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, like who? Like Moses. Oh, sorry, sir, like Moses. Speak the opponents. And he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. Now, who is this prophet? It's not Muhammad. I'm asking you, who is this prophet your Bible is referring to? So we would say that that prophet is Jesus. Right. Right. So, so you but you say it's Muhammad. Okay, yes. You do say but it's Muhammad. Listen, Can you prove on. that it's Muhammad? Hold on. Okay. So you a Christian, yeah. you just said that this prophet mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18, where God says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. You said as a Christian that this prophet is Jesus. Yes? I believe so, yeah. Right. So, answer my question. Was Jesus a prophet? 100%. Yes, he was a fully prophet, yes. And was the same Jesus God Almighty 100%? He fully embodied the divine essence, yes. So he was God and he was prophet, yes? Yes, he was both divine and flesh, yes. Right. And he was a prophet, yes? Yes. So when Jesus was a prophet, did God Almighty send Jesus as a prophet? Yes. So In the we, flesh. Thank you very much. So we Muslims also believe every prophet of around 124,000. What about Buddha? What about Buddha? Is he a prophet? You keep out. We are talking. No, 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 you keep right. out. Muslim Is Christian debate. Okay. In this conversation? I don't know. He, he just sort of goes. I will. I will ask you questions. Come on, you I will. I will. I'll talk. I know. I'm getting a bit bored. <laughs> yeah. What's your point? What's your okay. point? Can, can we have a dialogue? Like a back, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, it's. What's all these cameras? Nobody's talking to you. Okay. What's the we difference between okay. Shiites and Sunnis? Okay. Will you stop? Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, right. Shall I explain it to you? Okay. Yeah. So Christians believe, yes, yeah. in the Trinity. Yes. <clears throat> all right. Christians believe in the Triune God. Okay. We believe that God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, why do we believe that as Christians? Right. We believe it because it's found in our scriptures. Okay. There are scriptures in which Jesus is called God and Jesus responds in the affirmative. There are scriptures where Jesus is worshipped. Okay. There are scriptures where Jesus is directly called God. Okay. So for that reason, we affirm that there is something divine about Jesus. Okay. Now, remember that these, these accounts were written in the same century that Jesus lived in in the same culture that Jesus lived in, by people who knew Jesus or knew those who knew Jesus. Now remember that your scripture was written 600 years after Jesus. It wasn't written in the same place where Jesus lived, wait. And it also wasn't written in the same culture that Jesus lived in. 
So remember, when Islam says that Jesus did not say that he was God, remember that that comes 600 years later by people who never knew Jesus, who never spoke to Jesus, okay, who never knew his friends, there. who never know his disciples or apostles, we but we are talking about those who directly okay, knew Jesus and now? the disciples and apostles. Can you stop there you are, now? There you go. So you said this prophet was Jesus. And in this verse it says, God says in this verse, and I will put my words in his mouth. So, is it true that God put his words in the mouth of Jesus? Yes or no? Okay. So when we say that God will put his words in his mouth, that would mean that that prophet would speak the truth about God. Did Jesus speak the truth about the Father, about himself and about the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay. Why you use the word Father? Because, because Jesus used that word. No, is there no Father in this verse? But did the Jews refer to Yahweh as the Father? Okay, come back. Okay. Who is the Father of the Israelites? Okay. Is it true that God... It's Yahweh, by the way. Is it true that God put his words in the mouth of Jesus? In that Jesus spoke the truth about Yahweh? Yes. Right. And is it true that God says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18 and God says and he shall speak to them all that I command him. Right, yes. So is it true that God commanded Jesus? Yes. So how is this, how is this the case? Let's break it down. Jesus makes it clear he is not the Father. He makes it clear it makes it clear that he is distinct from the Father and that the Father. The Muslims are having a sort of in house debate here. But just to talk to the crowd, Jesus makes it clear he is not the same as the Father. He also makes it clear that he does the will of the Father. He also makes it clear that the, he has the same in unity, the same will that the Father has. They act in the same in unity together. But he also says that he takes on the same divine titles and the same responsibilities that only God has, Jesus claims for himself. Let's make it clear. Let's make it clear. In John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, Jesus says that you can pray to Jesus and Jesus will answer your prayers in his name. Okay. Now, to any Muslims, Stop can you pray to Muhammad and is that hey, shirt? Stop. I was just finishing. Jesus You're said in Luke, yeah. Jesus said, anybody who can don't believe me hey, as a king, Stop. bring him to me Stop. and slaughter him. Stop. Just for reference. Jesus said, anybody who don't believe in Stop. me, that's a parable that Jesus is referencing. You know what? I don't think this is going to be too useful. Nobody talking to you. So they won't want to chat. Like, I'm happy to just chat. Any Muslims have any questions? Any Muslims? But why are you talking to him? Bring people to me and slaughter them. Sister, do you have a question? Allah Akbar! Do you want to have a Allah question? Allah what is your question? Allah You're talking to him. No, listen, listen. No, no. We start to talk about talking to me. Allah Just Akbar. stand here. Go on. Okay. Question. Can we have Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Do you understand what I've just said? Can I give you... Allah Akbar! Sir, as you said... Be quiet. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. He's got the world cup in his hand. Wait, stop that. Okay. I am patriotic. So, I am Do you pray to Jesus? Yes. Or do you, as Christians, we Muslims, whenever we pray, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? He's God Almighty. As a Christian, as a Christian. Shut up. Nobody talking to you. Be quiet, man. Okay. What, 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 what do you say? Jesus said, that's anybody who what, don't what, believe okay, me as a king, this is bring, him, a not a bring him to me and slaughter hey, him. Hey, be quiet. Jesus Listen, man, slaughtered you need to, him. You need to be concise hey, with what you're saying. Just say married, to the point. To the point. Three-year-old. Moses oh, married hey, three-year-old. Nope. There's no scriptural basis for that. Allah Be quiet. Allah Be quiet. Okay. Sir, 
quickly. So, are you going to train to catch? What do you mean quickly? You want to talk about no, because okay. we've been here for ages. You still okay. have a major point. Okay. 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 So we Muslims, no, we pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. As a Christian, yes. do you pray to God mm. or do you pray to Jesus? Okay. So in Christianity. What God is, is the divine essence that is partaken by Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They are all that one God. So when we pray to God, we can pray to Jesus, we can pray to the Father and we can pray to the Holy Spirit. This is what our scripture teaches us. Okay. Yeah. My question was simple. I answered it, yes. When you pray, yes. do you pray to Jesus or yeah. God? We often say that we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. That's so a common, when you say that's you a common pray Christian to the view. Father, you're telling me you pray to God, yes? Yes, and who is God? What did I just tell you? Not Jesus. Did I say Jesus wasn't God? Is that what okay. I said? So, so, brother, yeah, this come on, yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so God is not come by himself. So God is sent people. So, uh, prophet Muhammad. So God is not come by himself. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. So, as a Christian, as a Christian, yeah. Yeah. you said yeah. you pray to. Jesus. Yes. yes, yes, John 14, verse 13 to 14. I gave you the scriptural reference for that. So you pray to Jesus. Have you read the New Testament? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. What do you tell us about 9 yeah. Are you a Christian? So I am Muslim. So God is not coming by himself. I'm a Muslim. Have you read, have you read the New Testament? Can I speak? I worship people, not God. He doesn't quiet, believe in you. Okay. Hadith are not okay. from Allah. Be quiet, but Hadith are not from Allah. I think there's a lot of heretical Pray Muslims here. Allah. I don't know why. But. Just to make it clear, I think he's an actual Muslim. I don't know about these guys, but if I understand right, he's like Orthodox. Is he good? Is he a good Muslim to talk to, right? He yeah, he is, he, is, he is a good Muslim, right? Okay, all right. Just making sure, because there's a lot of people that are saying otherwise. All right. You don't know. You're from Pakistan. How can you be an Arab? These people are recognizing. How the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm going to be a Muslim. He's an Arab. What the hell is this? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Be quiet, man. What's wrong with you? Because you're not man. Does anyone have any questions about Christianity? Go on, sister. What's your question? Go on. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The sister raised a good point. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus says that before Abraham was, I am. And the Greek is ego I me. That Greek is the same is the same I am that is in reference to the Lord's name in Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. Exactly, the sister raises a great point. If Jesus didn't say he was God, Mate, I have no idea what's going on. I think this is like Muslim heretics come to the corner day. I speak Hausa, I speak Bengali, Urdu. Oh, I'm sure you do, I'm sure you do. This is mental, this is mental. Absolutely mental. Islam is mental? Yes, in a good way. <laughs> in a good way, right? I think your voice is gone. I think it's gone. I think he's given up. He's given up. I think there's lots of heretical Muslims, I think, who have, uh, who have, who have uh, disrupted Usman. And now Usman has not been able to debate. This is a shame. Because, absolutely, that's a great point, sister. Jesus claimed to be God in John chapter 10, verse 30. He made it clear that he and the Father are one. And what was that in the context of? In the context of giving eternal life. The Psalms make it clear, only the Father gives people eternal life. Jesus, in John chapter 10, verse I believe 26 onwards, he says he gives people eternal life with the Father. He is equating himself with God. They understood this and they said, how can you, a mere man, claim these things?
and they believed what he was saying was blasphemy and he refuted them by saying, no, I am not a mere man. There have been people who have been appropriately referred to as gods in the Old Testament because they were in some way unique, some way elevated. Likewise, Jesus is elevated because he is the unique son of God. Amen. Amen. Any, anyone who actually has any sincere questions about Christianity or wants to say anything about Islam? Islam isn't true, by the way, guys. Islam is false. It comes 600 years after Christianity and makes claims about Jesus that, ha that were made by people who didn't know Jesus, who didn't speak to Jesus, and it is a fabrication. Embraces Jesus. Really? Okay. But other things that Islam says about Jesus, are they true? You don't know. It does. It's, it ha they call him Isa in their language, and they say many things about him. They say he, sp he spoke in the gradle. He defended Miriam from, the, uh, from his cra uh, cradle, and that he uh, breathed life into clay birds. This is what the Quran says about Isa, which is their Jesus. But these stories do not come from the Quran. They come from the infancy gospels. The Arabic infancy gospel was the first account that talks about Jesus breathing life into clay birds. The Quran borrowed that story, which is why you see it now in the Quran. We know from scholarship that these stories are found hundreds of years before Muhammad came around. Why is part of the Quran found in stories hundreds of years before. The reason why is because the Quran copied those stories. Yep. You know how you say, oh, Islam is not real, but then yep. you not true. Jesus, but then you're saying it's not real. I don't, I don't think you're saying well, saying Islam actually portrays Jesus as a failed prophet, a failed Messiah. Well, okay, so, so put it this way. No, no, I understand that you think that you reserve Jesus. What I'm saying is what you say about Jesus is offensive because you say that Jesus failed as a prophet because there were no followers from Jesus who survived. Were there any Muslims from Jesus who you believe was a Muslim who survived and preached his message? Okay, so just to let you know... Okay. Well, let me, I want to answer, answer this question though. No, I'll ask you in a second. In a second. According to Islam, when Jesus came, he, he had the Injil and he revealed this and he confirmed the Torah that was sent before him or Mabaina Yadehi, uh, which is the Arabic for what is in his hands, the Torah that he had at the time, the Injil that it was revealed to him. He uh, preached that message as a Muslim according to Islam. But according to Islam, that completely failed. Jesus didn't make any lasting converts to Islam. He was a complete failure according to Islam. But according to Islam, were there any Muslims who, after hearing the, the Injil of Jesus, would continue to be a Muslim afterwards? Were there any? Okay. Well, perhaps you should look into her religion and understand what the sheikhs, the imams, the daifs, they say about Islam. That's not my interpretation. That's, that's what Islam teaches as the doctrine. Was Jesus a Muslim? He won't answer. Yeah. I believe you say the same thing you respect what you're saying and not mean another religion down. But Christianity wasn't a failure because Christianity led to the biggest religion in the world. Right, but what I'm saying though is that according to Islam, Jesus was a failed prophet because no one kept his message. Do you believe the Injil was corrupted? Does, okay, does, do Muslims say that the Injil was corrupted? The Injil, the message that uh, Allah sent down to Isa, do say that, sorry? So Muslims don't say the Injil is corrupted. So is the Injil that we have today the same that was revealed to uh, Isa? <laughs> okay. Now I tell you what. Right. You guys, you guys create arguments and debates. You're putting each other down. I'm not putting you down. I'm trying to explain to you how Islam is not true. Right. I don't follow Islam. Oh, okay. Fair I'm not Hindu. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. 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 But I would call you to be a disciple of Christ, is what I'm calling you. I'm a Buddhist. Okay. That's my faith. Okay. I'm a Buddhist. Okay. Which believes. Okay. Right. Respect everybody. God is in everybody. Buddha I am, is in everybody. I'm not disrespecting anybody. I'm simply saying that according to Islam, they say that Injil was corrupted, that Isa had from Allah. And because it was corrupted, there are no Muslims that came but from Isa. But Islam, Islam, Muslim has to say that to you on your face. They say we don't say that. They say we don't my say friend, that. My friend, my friend, I don't think I'm being disrespectful. I think I'm telling people the truth about what their religion tells them. Okay, okay. Do you think the Injil is corrupted? No. Okay, so the Injil that we have today, the New Testament, is the same that Jesus taught back then. Your book. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah my book, yeah. What, corrupted? <laughs> you just said it wasn't corrupted. No, no, no. I literally no, no, no. asked you. Yeah. Angel, I mean, uh, Jibreel. Okay, I'm talking about Injil, which Angel, is the yeah. Arabic word for the yeah. New Testament, yeah? For the Gospels, yeah. actually, yeah? Angel, yes. Okay, so Isa, according to Islam, he revealed the Injil, yes? Right. Now, do we still have that same Injil? Or was it corrupted? Okay, so it was corrupted then. So were there any Muslims, were there any Muslims who came from Isa, uh, Isa who survived, uh, who survived? Can you show me any Muslims who can drive the lineage to Isa? After hearing his Injil, the, the true Injil revealed by Isa, can you show me any surviving Muslims who had that? They didn't, they lost it according to you, it was corrupted. That's why according to Islam, Isa is a failed prophet because he was unable to give his message. No, no. Do you say the Injil is corrupted? No, 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 no. What we say in the Quran, okay. mm -hmm. you have to distinguish. Mm -hmm. Revelation mm -hmm. is from Jibreel okay. Islam. What, what has been kept with them has yeah. been corrupted by the people. By the okay, spies. okay. And then, and then Muhammad, the Muhammad came no, 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 and he... Wait, wait. Okay. I'll give you a verse from the Bible okay. stating that the scribes have corrupted yes. the scripture. Completely. Once, no, no, no. Let me, let me explain. Yeah. Uh, Chris, right? Yeah, Chris. If I, if I have two glasses, one pure water and one water with a drop of cyanide. Yeah, it's yeah. not corrupted because they have a drop of cyanide. Mm. Which one would you choose? The, the clear one. So that's what I'm saying. But that's you not say, a valid say, analogy. No, no, no. You say, is it completely? Once corruption enters, mm. the scribes, once you allow it, there is no limit. I don't know where it ends, where it yeah, starts. Yeah, but a proper analogy would be a glass of pure water and a glass of pure water with a drop of vanilla in it. Does Nothing. it matter which one you drink? No, because it's the same Islam substance. Also, Islam also, this is the Quran also. Certain people have corrupted. Uh, it's a Buddhist, Quran. I think. Quran is pure. But people say, what do you think? Is it? Which is what you get to the Quran? No. The Quran doesn't say that. No, but, but some people, some uh, faith in Quran, they say, this is what Quran says. This is wrong. Yeah. If no. you die, you go to heaven. You, it's not right. No, if you die for a cause of Quran, you go to heaven. Is it right? Hi right, guys, I, don't know I think we should wrap this up, but, but my point is that according to what Muslims say today, they said the Injil was corrupted at some point, that, that was revealed to Isa. No, 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 Chris, let, let me simplify Very, very quick, because I want to move on from this. Yeah. All books prior to the yeah. Quran yeah. has corruption in it. The degree... Right. Okay, uh, okay, so it has been corrupted in no, no, some sense. The degree of corruption right. uh, differs from book to book. Now, it's not only us, it's not yeah. only us. Yeah. Your Doctors of Divinity, they state that clearly that all these books have corruption in it. But the problem is, is you're using the, the word corruption, uh, you're equivocating it in multiple meanings. No, no, no. Contradictions. So, uh, can I say the what we say and what we have out. always said is that the message has been preserved you don't and know. therefore we don't. You we don't do know. know. We have the manuscripts. Oh, yeah, we have no, the, no, the manuscripts. Just one second. One second. One second. When, when you say, when you say that something, no, no, something has been introduced, I don't want to use the word corruption anymore. Something has been introduced yeah. that is not mm. by the uh, utter word of God. Right. Now, no, wait, wait. When you say that... A natural criteria. No, no. When you say that something has been introduced yeah. by humans, yeah. it, it ceases to be... Okay, godly. okay. Now, let me explain That's this very clearly then. In Islam, according to your histories, uh, Ubay ibn Ka'b and Abdullah ibn Masud had different musafs with different amounts of surahs in it. It was standardized by Uthman, who picks the 114 surahs you have today. Uh, there was a... And this is 20 years after Muhammad died. But not there, true. That's true. That's what you're... That's your claim. But I can... I can count you can... It. Okay. I said this to Muhammad Ijab, and he went, yeah. No, um, he dis he disagreed with what I concluded from it. Anybody, okay. As, no, but my point is, is that Da'is and, and Imams and Sheikhs know about this and you can go on YouTube and they will tell you about it. No, no. Yeah. Well, uh, just to elaborate, if you want to elaborate on this, yeah. it's a separate issue. Yeah. But to go a little bit in depth in this, there are two Sahabi. The difference between the books of old and Quran, the books of old have been scribed, as written. And scribes have corrupted, have, let's say, changed, mm. modified, either intentionally or otherwise. Mm. The, the scripture, the old scriptures. In, in the Quran, I am from Bani Timi, one of the seven tribes in Arabia. We have Quran, and at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu more than 99% were illiterate. Our Prophet was illiterate. We had to preserve our right. knowledge. Yeah. No, no, just a, let me explain. Okay. Our knowledge yeah. via memorization. Right, oral so, tradition, yes. Or, so, so, so from the Prophet, you have or, an oral tradition no, that has survived. To, to, right. to the two verses. Okay, but you understand though, that those who memorize that oral tradition, yeah, yeah. within 20 years of the Prophet dying, were already disagreeing about who had the correct oral tradition. No, 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 no not, not true. Okay. What happened, well, what happened, there 
of people who were not present when those two chapters were revealed. When they conferred from the other companions, compa I mean eyewitnesses, none of the books you have in the New Testament are eyewitnesses of Jesus Christ. None of them. They none haven't them? seen. None of them. None of them. None of them. You know that two of, our, two of the books of the Gospels are written by disciples, yeah? So they claim to have been eyewitnesses. No, no. Who are they? Matthew and John. Okay, John, John was written yeah. in the 90s. Yes, in the 90s. he wrote his gospel when he was an no, old no. man. He died after about 100 Jesus AD. Christ, no, no. Jesus Christ left this earth in, in the 30s, so sure. 60 years after Okay, Jesus when was your Quran standardized? 20 years after Muhammad died? No, no. no. You don't read that. You don't read that. No, no. You have yes. different. 2000 years before. No, no, my brother. No, my brother. Yeah. You see, you have different. You, know you have eyewitnesses to the Prophet and ear witnesses. We have eyewitnesses to Jesus, yes. No, well. nothing was there. I can bring you none of the 12 disciples, none of the 12 have written ever anything by Jesus Christ. None of them. Okay, what's your source for that? I'll bring it to you. It's. Uh, Metzger, I think it's Metzger. Bruce Metzger. I'll bring it. He, he is a doctor of divinity, and I'll give, give it to you. Go. But if, if you. Where am I from? Uh, outside of London. Huh? Outside of London. Sorry? Outside of London. I'm not oh, from. Yeah. Not from London. Oh, good knowledge. Oh. I think it's Metzger and uh, Bob Irwin. Yeah, Bob Metzger. Okay, Irwin. it's Bob Irwin. All right, fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at uh, uh, the, what is it, uh, New Testament? Can I ask a question? Um, Go on. Yep. Was, um, was there any kind of witnesses to Muhammad's revelation? Because it seems like it was just him, and he actually thought he was... How, can, how can you say that? Well, there wasn't any, people. there wasn't, right? There what do you mean? In other words, Muhammad got the revelation from Jibril, and then through Muhammad, he spread his message, yes? No, he would get the revelation, yep. and his companions would beside him. Right, right. What, what I'm saying though is that the only wit the, ultimately everything goes nobody back knows, to Muhammad. Back, and you have to trust Muhammad see, to trust yeah. the revelation. You Moses, yeah. Yeah. Salah, Moses, yeah. we have to trust Moses. Abraham, yeah. Dawood, David. Right. But they gave accounts that were trustworthy. So, for example, Jesus demonstrated his trustworthiness in his actions. No, no, yes, we believe Jesus was. Trustworthy. I know, but Muhammad himself said that he didn't trust his own uh, his own testimony. Who again? Muhammad said at the no, very no. early points no, that he did not trust you're, you're his own. You're twisting the words. He didn't say that. So he no, no, was no, he no, not no, convinced no, no, by a Christian no, that he was no, actually a prophet? The, the so-called polyeth uh, uh, who came after the disciples of Jesus Christ, they. You know, I don't want to use the word corrupted, but they twisted the Bible words. That's what happened. But so Usman like, literally changed your words and your Quran. You understand that? that? We, actually, we actually even <clears throat> we even know what the missing surahs are that Ubayyim and Khaled and his yeah. Musa. If you claim they were corrupted, he can also claim you were corrupted. Yeah. Well, that's very silly. No, no, I can back it up. No, no, you can't, though. No, no. If, if you, if you, if you, my brother. I no, have to go no, Hindu. No, no, no. You read 2000 years before no, Islam. No, 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 I know, no, I know that. Right, no, 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 my brother. If, if there is, God forbid, the bad example comes to mind. He's like, if there is an accident here, and you come and the judge comes you guys and calls Muslims? you in. Calls you in. So, did you oh, see yes, the accident? He says, no. Do you know that uh, 20 years after no, Muhammad died, no, Uthman, no, I think no, it was the third no, caliph, he no, took the different uh, Musafs, that were held by Ubay ibn Ka'ab and Abdullah ibn Musaf that had different surahs in. Ubay ibn Ka'ab had 116 surahs in his Musaf. Abdullah ibn Musaf had either 110 or 111 uh, surahs in his Musaf. And he compiled it into the Quran we have today, which has 114 Musafs. Do you know that? Build your future on the past. That's, that's, in, that's in Sahih Bukhari, in Sahih Muslim. You build okay. Okay. <coughs> I would suggest you look into it. And then Uthman took the Quranic manuscripts that he didn't include. And I didn't know. No, you should know about it though, you should know about it. You shouldn't be afraid to know what your religion teaches, yeah? Because that's how you know the truth. Have a nice day. We don't have to, we don't have to they don't seem to agree with their religion. Is there I don't think they, they're aware of these things, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's a shame, it's a shame. Muslims are very ignorant about how their manuscripts are stored, about how their religion came about, about who standardized their religion, about what manuscripts were burned. They don't know these things. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Oh, right. Anyway, um, Jesus Christ is the way, truth, and the life. We don't have those issues. Take a leaflet and turn to the truth today. Should I also give you power? Namme ho renge kyo? You are here. I'm a Buddhist. Huh? <coughs> Excuse me. Power namme ho renge kyo? Say that. Say namme ho renge kyo. The more often you say it, I promise you, you will be able to change your present. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's Very wrap power. that up. Uh, I think I'm ready to wrap up. It was a nice discussion, but I don't think the brother fully understands fully the humanity. He fully understands the history of Islam, the history of his manuscripts, about how his manuscripts came about. He doesn't know about Uthman burning manuscripts. 
I'm on a sort of never-ending quest to teach Muslims about what actually happened to their manuscript tradition. Hopefully one day Muslims accept this and they come to terms with it. And they embrace the true religion, can I, can I Jesus Christ. Can I also say something? Go on then, you can say something. I, I don't mind. I'd be part of Buddhism. Buddhism which was started by Nichiren Daishin in Japan in 1650 speaks about spirituality, which is compassion, love, courage and strength. It would have the same teachings that most religions would have, but spiritual, which is having a faith in something, but sticking out your religion, whichever religion you are. You might be a Christian, Hindu or a Muslim, but you can still be a spiritual person and believe in Buddhism. Okay. So try sing the word, chant, Nam Miho Range Kyo. You will be able to lessen your bad karmas and be able to open your path okay. forward. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much.